in the 12th century, the street level. Uh, originally, there used to be the pharmacy, really nice. First people living here, they were trying to save the lives of the others. But now we continue in a little bit different tradition. Not everybody was, let's say, uh, lucky enough to be publicly executed. Many people disappeared in the secret dungeons, like we have down here now as well. Our headsman in the corner seems to be ready, so we can move to the second room to our execution time. by the sword. It was really huge, heavy, sharp, so there was the biggest chance to cut off the head uh, and to kill the person. The second best option, if we can say it like that, to chop off your head by the axe. Yeah? But in that case, it depended much more on the skills of the executioner and really often on how much extra money you would take. Yeah? The more you paid, the faster you would be killed. Perfect deal. So we hang. That sounds a pretty good option as well, but for a long time this was really really a bad punishment. Uh, at first people didn't fall down to break the neck, but they were pulled to the top, yeah, usually over the branch of the tree, and then they were hanging there and dying in much slower, more painful way. Yeah? This was really popular uh, punishment for those who were stealing horses. Hammer! Best way how to force someone to uh, tell you the secret. One finger, another one, and then it slowly uh, continued. That person would promise you whatever. Those who committed some crime against church, they were mainly burned at the stake, like witches. That's really famous. Uh, sometimes those people were also drowned in the water. I guess you have heard about the special test if you are the witch. Woman had to jump into the water. If she could swim, that was the proof she was the witch and she was killed at the stake. If she couldn't swim, that was the proof she wasn't the witch. <laughs> and she couldn't see. <laughs> uh, if you cross the Charles Bridge, uh, right in the middle there is a small cross. Popular place for, for people nowadays to touch it for good luck. Why not? But this used to be the execution point from which people were pushed down to the river to drown in the bags filled by the stones. So if you have a look on that cross right below, there's a picture of another local anti Catholic priest, Jan of Nepomuk, and he's there in the back falling down uh, from the bridge to the river. So maybe I can recommend you some better places to touch for you, to be honest. Uh, if you have some kind of the backache problems, I would recommend you the wheel. That would be the perfect solution. That was the most popular way of torture in our country. We have the wheel down here. It was usually a little bit bigger. Just imagine your body would be strength all around the wheel. First moments could be quite pleasure, great stretching, yeah? But of course, the longer you stay there, uh, the more painful it would be. This was supposed to be the long-term torture, let's say. It was uh, possible to survive it for up to three months. Mm -hmm. yeah, just imagine. Uh, very often the wheel was higher, so it was possible to turn with the wheel. That could be water or even fire right after the wheel different ways. And then there was also the so-called breaking with the wheel, uh, punishment mainly for the uh, murders. This person was still alive, laying on the floor, couldn't move. Then there was really, really huge heavy wheel going over the body. It started with the feet, continued and stopped right under the neck, not to kill the person immediately, but to break most of the bones. And then this completely broken person would be waiting like our skeleton in the wheel here for death. In some cases it could take hours, and some cases up to seven days to die in a bit. But this is still not the most special way of dying. That would be for sure this one. Again, person still alive, playing for the floor to the move. Then there would be rats on the stomach, covered with some kind of a cage. It's easy to make the fire close to them. Rats would be terrified. 
we only way to escape. Mm. To eat their way. Yeah. Mm. So, those are just the most popular ways of the executions. Uh, for a long time, people were really uh, like happy that that's not them who is dying, so they enjoyed uh, that feeling, let's say. Uh, they were, as I said, public executions uh, till the end of the 18th century. Yeah, so it was like show for the people. Yeah, only since the 19th century, they started to be a little bit nicer to each other. So I'm not brave enough to spin the wheel to see which execution the 